Welcome to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin back with another quick tip on how to highlight or change the color of one word in the video sequence editor. Frenzy. Quick tip. Open up a fresh instance of Blender, go to File, New, and Video Editing. I like to collapse this window into this one. Hover your mouse over here, press Shift A, add in a color. And then with the color selected, oops, let's uh, get rid of that. With the color selected, press the period on the numpad to zoom into it. I'm gonna also change the color over here to maybe like a, a dark gray like that. And then shift A, we're gonna add in a text. We can change the size of the text and the options over here. If you scroll up and down, there's the options of the text. I'm going to open to open up new text. Now I'm using Windows at the moment, so it's going to be my fonts folder in my Windows folder. You can change where your fonts folder is. If you go to edit preferences and file paths, you can say where you want the fonts to be right here. And I'm just gonna scroll down and choose just a regular boring one here. Cambria bold looks good. Okay, so there's my text. Uh, again, I can change the size here. And then I'm just gonna type in, I will change this text color. Perfect, so what I'm gonna do is shift D to duplicate this text strip, and then I'm just going to change the color to something like, I don't know, kind of a bluish color right there. And that will change it for the whole strip, of course, the top strip, but then we can scroll down here to our crop options, and then take the left and right crop and move it in just like that. And I can turn off the overlays over here so you can see that this is what we have. Now if I scroll back up to our color and change the color on our color wheel, this is what you see. You can change this to any color so it's as easy as that. However, there is something that you might notice and that is uh, underneath you will see uh, the white kind of protruding out on the edges. If I hide that, you can see it goes away. So if you're a purist and you don't want that there, so the first thing you can do is we can take the bottom white color text and go down to our crop as well. And we want to, uh, let's crop to the left, or actually let's do the right. So we can do all the way to here and we can turn these back on so we can see where we're cropping. There we go, something like that. Uh, but now we don't have this over here, so what we can do is bring the top up and then duplicate the bottom one, and then we can change the crop on that, so crop at that zero, and then the left we can crop all the way over this way. And basically that what that does is if we hide the top one, it will get rid of, uh, we have this one over here and this one over here, so we have three of them all duplicated of the same text, and then we have this one now. And now you can see it doesn't have the white border underneath it. It's not really all that noticeable, the white border, but this is how you can achieve something like that. But what if you have more than one line? Okay, so let's delete this. I'm going to change the text to something like, I want to change the color of only one word in this sentence. Okay, so we have to get rid of this crop here. There we go. So we just want to change this one here. So same thing. We want to duplicate that up and then I'll just change the color here to like a red and then we will change the crop on that. Scroll back down. I'm going to click and drag through all four of these and then if I start to scroll up you can see it kind of changes as it goes like that. Um, you don't have to do it like that but that's just an option that you can do. But I'm just going to adjust each one of these to its appropriate position where that one is. Just like that. I can leave the overlays on and just click out anywhere to deselect and then we can kind of see what's happening. So if you don't want that white border around there, we'd have to do the same thing. Although this would be a little bit difficult, we might have to make four of them. So I'm gonna do something different this time. Instead of duplicating the text, I'm gonna just bring this one up and I'm gonna duplicate the color down here instead. Duplicate that up and I'm just gonna scale just with S to scale. I can scale that here in the preview and then bring that. And it only works in this instance because the color that we're using in the background is the same color we're using as this. So this works in limited situations like this. But one thing we can do with this setup is we can take these two on the top um, because if we hide them, that is 
what you see there. We can hide them and unhide them. But if I if I just create some cuts here, you know, just I'm just creating random cuts to demonstrate this. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here. Delete those. You can see it's like a, a little strobe effect here. And there you go. And so now we can uh, change the color if we want to change the, the color of the, uh, let's see, the strobe here. Um, now, I only changed the color of this one. Everything else is red because it's separate. So if I just select this one and then box select these, you can see this one is highlighted as white, which means this one is active and that's what the settings over here are for the active one. I'm gonna right click here and just choose copy to selected, which are all of these. And now all of these are the yellow one again. So now we have a yellow strobe there. All right, so there you go. That's how you highlight a single word or several words within a sentence in the video sequence editor.